Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make this nail art which was inspired by one of my uh, dragon statues. I have a whole collection of dragon statues here. Well, not that many, but just a bunch of them. But I realized I had never before done a uh, dragon type manicure. So yeah, it was time to finally do it. Um, so yeah, basically I just did, just did the dragon head and then some wings just to keep it a little bit easier. And because a uh, whole dragon onto a nail is sort of more difficult because nails are kind of small. Um, so yeah, uh, basically this isn't a really easy nail art, it is easier actually than I expected it to be, but it's not necessarily really easy, I mean it does have a lot of details and yeah, it does take some time and effort, um, but it's also not too hard, I mean it is doable, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to do it either, um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, because I want a um, nail polish that actually suits the team, I'm going to use Dragon by A England, if it will focus, yeah. Uh, which is a green nail polish and in the right light it sort of has a sort of reddish shine to it which is really cool so I'm just going to apply two layers of it and then it's time for the second layer Okay, for the dragon itself I'm going to start out with the um, sort of the outline and the body, but I'm going to do an outline in black later, but I'm going to start out with this Playboy nail polish, which is just sort of, um, yeah, just sort of metallic, dark metallic, gunmetal-like color. Um, I'm keeping the dragon statue that I'm using as a um, model for this, um, I'm just keeping that with inside because for some reason even though like when I did the unicorn nail art I did it without actually using the unicorn while I was painting but for some reason dragons are more difficult I don't know more detail but yeah basically and also I'm doing it upside down of course to film it so yeah I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start out with the mouth of the dragon And I'm not just going to worry about any teeth or anything, I'm just going to add it in later. Also this isn't going to be very visible yet, because I'm going to do a black outline later and yeah, because the gray is less visible it's less awful if I make a mistake now. So I'm now painting the bottom jaw. And then here's the jawline. And the start of the neck. And then here's the head of the dragon. And then behind the head are some horns, so I'm going to add in those as well. Leaving a tiny little bit of green there. And then it's just a matter of filling it in. And then it can dry. To get a little bit more detail, I'm just going to uh, also paint its wings on two nails. So yeah, I'm just using the same gunmetal color for that. And just keeping it simple. And I'm just following the shape that the wings on the uh, statue have as well. Which sort of ends like that. And again, don't worry about any details because we're going to fill those in with black later. Oh, and also, um, I would recommend using a uh, thin gunmetal color because I am noticing this one is quite thick, which makes it sort of harder to get an even layer with. So, like, I don't want to have visible stripes in the paint, so yeah. It's sort of more difficult with a really thick nail polish, so I would recommend using a thinner one. And that's it for the wings. And then it's time to add some eyes to the dragon. Um, which I'm going to do using this red nail polish by Max Factor, which is called Red Carpet Glam. It's a sort of orange based red. 
And do keep in mind that the eyes are going to get some pupils later, so you know, give yourself enough space to actually add those in. And that's it. And now that the dragon is dry, it's time to start on the outlines, for which I'm just using a black nail polish by Playboy. And still the same striping brush. And again with black outline the glue is just to do it slowly. Just really take your time and don't rush because it's sort of hard to fix things if you make a mistake with black nail polish. And at this point I'm also just dotting in the mouth a little bit just to get sort of a hint of teeth. And yeah, basically I'm just going to do the outline of the head first and then uh, return for the details. And then just adding some more details such as outlining the eye. Need a little bit more. Black nail polish for that. And be really careful with this that you don't end up with a completely black eye. And then I'm just going to add some detail here, just sort of like cheekbone ish things. And the jawline. And that's it. Then I'm just going to do the same thing to the wing, which is easier actually than the face of the dragon. Just starting on the outline of the wing itself. And then when that's done I'm just going to add some details. Which basically just consists of Outlining the folds that the wings would have. And also sort of outlining the bone that would go through the wing. And that's it. And then when everything's dry it's time to add some top coat. I'm using the ceiling top coat by Essence. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye! And then it's time to add some snacks to the nails. Um, I started out with a bag of french fries on one nail and I'm going to do a hamburger on this nail over here. Um, I'm going to start out with